Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is James, and today we're going to be comparing the graphics of Watch Dogs on the PS4, the Xbox One, and the PS3. Not to diss my own system that I played probably the most amount of time on, the Xbox 360. We are going to be throwing that in there too. I don't want to spoil it too much, but I'll just let you know right now, it is not that good. Now hopefully this video can help you out. If you enjoyed the video and are excited for Watch Dogs, please make sure to support it by leaving a like. And also if you're new around here, I definitely recommend subscribing for some more awesome and daily gaming and GTA 5 tips, news, info, and more. Now a lot of people have been wondering how exactly Watch Dogs holds up graphically to all these expectations. There's been huge expectations for this game graphically and it being available on all of the consoles, Xbox One, Xbox 360, PS4, PS3, and PC. Obviously PC is going to have some of the best settings if your computer can handle it, but people were wondering exactly how it would run on the Xbox and current generation consoles as opposed to the next gen consoles. And with all these recent leaks and just stuff being leaked generally, games been leaked, people have already got their hands on it. It's less than a week from launch, I mean, it's gonna get leaked. People have finally been able to patch together some comparisons of what looks like like what? I'm going to post this on screen right now. We have three screenshots all side by side by side. Uh, I want you to leave a comment down below and guess which one is which. I'm going to be revealing them later on in the video, but one of these is a PS3 gameplay, one of these is a PS4 gameplay, and one of these is that Xbox One gameplay. Now you may be surprised, and with all this visual information we have available, and even before the whole digital foundry deal and the breakdown analysis they did, we simply have to ask, can you tell which version is which? These were some leaked screenshots, and there is no indication right now, like I'm not going to spoil it yet, uh, which is which, but it's pretty obvious to tell which one is PS3. Like I mentioned, just for kicks later on in the video after I reveal them, I'll be comparing them to the Xbox 360 one. But to start out with the top right here, we have the PS3 one. Hopefully you guessed that right. It looks pretty simple and easy to tell. The PS3 one, not too graphically intense or crazy. Looks like just current gen graphics. Nothing too, too crazy. And now we have these two right here. One is the Xbox one, and one is the PS4 and there is a big difference. Now maybe that the other one is raining but it just seems different. The rain seems so crisp and the city just seems crisper and cleaner in the PS4 one, well, not to give it away right there, but this kind of darker one right here with no rain, that is the Xbox One gameplay and this really crisp one right here, I can honestly tell a difference in my opinion, that right there is actually the PS4 gameplay and me being a longtime Xbox user, it's kind of hard to say this but I definitely wish I would have got a PS4 to play this game on because it looks a lot better in my opinion on PS4. Now like I mentioned, most of you probably picked out the PS3 version easily and it's pretty obvious to tell the PS4 is definitely superb here, but I want to know, leave a comment down below which version of the game do you like best and if you got your answers right. Now with Watch Dogs, we're seeing both of the new next generation twins. They seem to be almost underperforming with the full HD measure of 1920 by 1080p. The PS4 and Watch Dogs is only supposed to maintain 900p on the Xbox One and it seems a little bit odd in the sense that these games can be optimize and demand a lot more graphically on these next-gen consoles, but they've still yet to do it. And I think that's kind of what developers coping with the whole next-gen technology. And even though the developers have had access to the next-gen technology for a while, I think they're still figuring out the best way to utilize it because I think this game can get a lot better. And overall, this game is going to look best 100% guaranteed on the PC. Anyway, we'll get a full breakdown of what exactly is later on. Hopefully you can enjoy that. But here is the Xbox 360 version of it, to say the least. <laughs> People were very disappointed about that, mainly because, well, they haven't been sharing a lot of footage, but this is one of the gameplays that a YouTuber posted, and the trees and environment in the background is comparable to see almost what you would see on maybe Grand Theft Auto 4, Grand Theft Auto 5. It doesn't look too fancy. The world doesn't have too much of a larger range. If you look at the tree right here, taking a closer look, and uh, it really doesn't look that special. I'm personally not happy with the Xbox 360 gameplay. I figured they could have did a little bit better, but that's what it is for Xbox 360. That's how it is. This game's coming out in just a few days on Tuesday. So if you enjoyed the video and are excited for Watch Dogs, please make sure to support it by leaving a like. Hopefully I helped you out. And if somehow you haven't pre-ordered yet and you happen to have all four of these consoles and PC, I recommend PC, but maybe this could help you get a better decision of what's going to look best graphically, even though I hate to play the console wars here, but the PS4 does look better in my opinion. If you're new around here and haven't already, I definitely recommend subscribing. I am literally 1,000 subscribers away from 300,000. So let's hit that mark today. Thank you so much everybody for all the support. You can follow my Twitter and like my Facebook. Those links are down in the description below along with my GTA 5 themed picture pack and my apparel. That's about it and have a great day. Erectile dysfunction is bad, but leaving a like on the video isn't. Whether you're hard or soft, make sure to slap that like button and subscribe while you're at it.